I collect different pre-recorded music formats as well as the machines that play them. Now the most recent format that came out that had mass market success will have been the compact disc. Since the CD there have been other formats that have been introduced but they've generally been met with public apathy. We've had things like the digital audio tape, the mini disc, digital compact cassette, SACD, DVD audio and Blu-ray audio. Now, while it was clear from the off that Blu-ray audio was never going to be a mass market success, I am fond of the format. More often than not, the titles that were released on it would have been multiple disc compilations on other formats, but could all fit on one Blu-ray disc. Of course, you could play it on any Blu-ray player. The audio was high res. And this one that I got, this Rolling Stones compilation, has 50 tracks on it and actually cost less at the time I bought it than the CD compilation and also comes with a download code for 320 kilobits per second MP3 files. And of course, you get a larger booklet in this than you would get inside the CD. But despite all that, I'm sure there are plenty of people watching this who've never heard of Blu-ray audio. And unfortunately, I think by now it's largely fizzled out as a format. But for a while, that was the last pre-recorded audio format that had been released. But now, there's a new one. Let me show it to you. And here it is, and you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is a CD. Well, the box is the same size and shape as a CD case. Of course, this is the Beatles 1 compilation. It's got the same track listing on here you get if you were to buy this on a CD. This format is known as MQS. Well, at least it's kind of known as that. It's a little bit complicated. There's only been perhaps half a dozen titles released on it so far. Amongst those titles were a Pavarotti compilation, an album by Jason Mraz, and another one by Bon Jovi. But this is the only one I was interested in. And as you can see, this is imported. It comes from South Korea. And the format we're talking about is in the end here. And if I get that out, you can see straight away it is a micro SD card. I was happy to see that they've put the album art on the actual micro SD card itself and that's not a sticker that's actually printed on the surface. You get a booklet inside the box as well which I'd imagine you also get if you were to buy this on CD although I don't own this compilation on CD. It's also stuck in the back of there you can't remove that. But anyway who is or what is MQS? Well it comes from a company called Astle and Kern. They're a South Korean manufacturer of high-end personal audio players that play high-res files and they're description of MQS is as follows. MQS or Mastering Quality Sound refers to a high definition 24-bit 48 to 192 kilohertz sound generated with the MQS technique which processes the original sound file during the mastering stage the final stage of sound making. MQS delivers a full-bodied sound close to the original sound source provided with more than 6.5 times amount of data that CD sound has. MQS lets you experience an incomparable and ultimate sound performance. Or to sum up, it's snake oil. Anyway, I'll put it inside the computer here. We'll put the micro SD card in this SD card reader and pop it into the computer. We'll just have a look at the files that are on here to see exactly what you get. Well, it's just a normal micro SD card formatted as FAT32. The audio files on this album take up 897 megabytes of storage and they're all FLAC files. If we inspect one of those files, we can see that for this one, they've been recorded at 44.1 kilohertz at 24 bits. Now, 44.1 is exactly the same as a compact disc but a compact disc is 44.1 and 16 bits this one is 24 bits which means it's a little bit better quality and those specs match the Beatles USB stick that came out a few years ago that had all their albums on it also at 44.1 kilohertz and 24 bits I think that's the highest quality that the Beatles albums have ever been released in and of course, with these being standard FLAC files, it means you can play them back on any piece of hardware or software that supports that format, which answers a question I had in my own mind. I didn't know whether MQS was actually a format or just specific to Astell and Kern, but no, it's FLAC files, but at 24 bits. Now, I'm sure there are some people out there that are experiencing deja vu at the moment, and don't worry, you're not going mad. Somebody has tried this idea before. SanDisk introduced the slot music format a number of years ago, where they released pre-recorded albums on one gigabyte micro SD cards. Those micro SD cards contain 320 kilobits per second mp3 files and of course you could put those micro sd cards in compatible mp3 players or mobile phones the micro sd cards themselves came in these nice little plastic boxes that had album art on them although the micro sd card itself didn't have any art on there and you also got a little usb sd card reader 
I suppose then that raises the question of why try and reintroduce the idea of selling pre-recorded music on a delivery format that's previously failed as a way to sell pre-recorded music. Well, I suppose things are a little bit different now in that we're dealing with high-res or HD audio files, but it's probably quite a bit easier just to go on a website like HD Tracks and download the files from there. Although a quick check reveals they don't currently have the Beatles albums available to download. Of course, Astle and Kern, who are behind this format, do sell the personal audio players that have micro SD card slots on them, so I suppose they're thinking customers could just pick these up and slot them in and they don't have to mess around with a computer. And after all, who's it really harming? This is only a very niche thing that's only available in South Korea. I don't think there's any problem with people buying their music on micro SD cards if that's what they want to do. And I think this Beatles compilation is probably going to end up being pretty collectible in years to come. So there you have it. As far as I'm aware, the MQS micro SD card is the last pre-recorded music format that's been introduced. Unless, of course, you know different. And if you do, please put some information in the comments. Anyway, that's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.